thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed a great pleasure for me to, to be here. Um, and by the way, I haven't had such a warm welcome since I went over to the bank to pay in the coups of Saidi. <laughs> I come from, you see my map here, this is uh, 30 odd years ago I uh, noticed my meagre income on the croft was diminishing, there's another one out here, <laughs> and um, I decided I would have to diversify, but what do you do, there's caravan parks, tourist trails, trout ponds, all the rest of it, no I thought I'd have to come up with something a bit more original, a money spinner. And so I was happy to be listening to Murray Firth, they were just starting up at the time. I thought, now that's a good idea. If I could open several local commercial radio stations serving the more remote areas of the Highlands and Islands of Scotland, I should be in with a shout, getting my money from rural advertising. Now the thing has blossomed, they're all over the place, these local radio stations. There's one here in Keith. Hey! hey. John Silverite, Crammy, KM and them all, keeping you all entertained, wonderful stations. So, uh, if you tuned in this morning to my local radio stations, well, you might have heard something like this, depending of course on where you live, in the Highlands, or indeed in the North East. So I'll just get on my transmitter here and we'll... <laughs> This is pure water, I can watch it. In case you're worried. Well, hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning and welcome to Tadiano. Here, tell your local radio network here in the far north of Scotland. This is your swing and desk choggy. <laughs> Chokey Chomey here, bringing ye all at the very best in radio entertainment across the heavens and movers. Yes, <laughs> we'll be swinging on a chain clan here through the day, bringing ye all at the very best. Now we're coming to you as usual on the following frequencies at 809.6 kilohertz, 504.9 megahertz, or for the most of our rural listeners, a bob is on a banker, that's about an inch and a half from a leaf on your diet. And now that more of this morning's weather forecast for the North Coast. Red sky at night, the shepherds delight. All over the highlands in every glen. Red sky in the morning, the shepherd's warning. Dune Ray must have started leaking on <laughs> And now we're away across to our sister radio station in the far north of Scotland, that's Radio Benny Hell, and we're presenter over there, John Angus Mackay. For this morning's local news headlines, Radio Benny Hell. Hello, yes, good morning. Good morning and welcome to Radio Benny Hill. John Angus Mackay reporting from here in the far north of Sutherland. Radio Benny Hill coming to you this week in association with Mackay's sheep wormer. <laughs> <laughs> this week's special offer by two leaders and you'll get a free dozing gun. <laughs> Plus the chance to enter our prize draw for a weekend for one in November at Cape Rath. <laughs> Now this morning's local news. North Crofter Colin Campbell is so fed up with all the official paperwork as to go with each and every one of his calves to the marketplace. He has sold the Aberdeen Angus bull and imported a male kangaroo from Australia. <laughs> He's going to cross him with a hill cow so the calves love a pouch for the documents. <laughs> investigating the theft of a hundred of Colin Campbell's tapes and CDs from the music shop in Dingwall by a thief who later put them back. <laughs> Say they're now looking for somebody brighter than they had first thought. <laughs> After 
allegations that collies taking part in the sheepdog trials may be on steroids. A, <laughs> a dog at the Kindle of Barbie trial was disqualified for carrying the sheep into the pen. Industrial tribunal yesterday at Dornock Shire Court, a short sighted chicken sexer, Colin Campbell, sued his former employer, she suffered attachities for unfair dismissal. He claimed the 40 watt bulb was inadequate lighting for the job in hand. However, East Sutherland actually said they got serious complaints from egg producers in the county. One farmer in particular who had purchased a thousand bullets told the court that 98% of them had started going cock a doodle doo, <laughs> whilst the other 2% were too frightened to do anything. <laughs> Sutherland has been shelved because the road leading to the road to be widened is too narrow for the road widening vehicles. A crisis was averted yesterday on the Tanga Abnahara Road when four county roadmen turned up for work to find they had no shuffles with them in the van. When they telephoned the depot, the quick thinking foreman said, Don't panic, boys, just lean on one another if I get there. <laughs>
while across the glen there's a frightening roar of the big red stags in the rut. The little red grouse cries, go back, go back, as he waits for the men in the butts. A regular beat of my diesel generator will help to lull you to sleep. And the air is so laden with carbon monoxide that the midges will beat the retreat. <laughs> Now the inspector came from the environmental and I gave him a dram by the fire. He's worried about my milk in coo and the hygiene in the buyer. Well I gave him oat cakes and butter and crowdy and cheese to go with his whiskey. He's no use to bacteria or bugs or listeria, now he's no so fresky. <laughs> so if you come and stay with me in my wee bit button bed. You'll get a hundred thousand welcomes in my lovely Highland Glen. You'll find it all a bit old-fashioned, but the kindness is never rushing. And you'll love all the crack, you can't wait to come back. Mrs. Max B and B, Mrs. Max B and B, that's where you'll want to be. You'll love my own sweet, so cosy and neat, there's something below the bed. My breakfasts are greasy and pim and so easy, you'll tell all your friends. That the time of your life for you and the wife, but Mrs. Max, B and B. Yes, welcome back. And now it's back to Radio Keith, and that's for a commercial break. Are you feeling kind of low? Have you lost the well to go? Then what you need is Mrs. Maisie Gunn's rose hemp syrup. Literally hundreds of uses round the home and croft. This delightful homemade syrup is now widely available at the health food counters of most good sub-post offices throughout the Highlands. It's ideal for nursing mothers, collie dogs and pop, hell shepherds coming off the whiskey, and, and slipping fan belts. <laughs> In a unique process to retain a natural country goodness, Maisie's hips are rubbed and pressed by hand. <laughs> <laughs> Left to mature in a sheet dipping tank, then it's bottled and flogged under a brand name of Mrs. Maisie Gunn's Rose Hip Syrup. So if you're feeling kind of low, can you lost the well to go? And your bruiser belt is slapping. And your sheep are need and Then think of all the goodness that's packed in Maisie's haps. <laughs> You're way ahead of me. <laughs> And we're presenting her the year in Radio Papa Westry. It's Magnus. Are you there, Magnus? Well, yes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to Radio Papa Westry. Magnus reporting. Is that near enough to Joan? Magnus reporting for these misty Orkney Islands. And first this morning's air travel report. And you'll like him to know that the Logan Air flight between Westry and Papa Westry is in the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> has been the world's shortest commercial airline flight. It's an average duration of one minute 58 seconds. <laughs> However, this morning there's a 60 mile an hour tailwind, so she's two minutes five seconds early. <laughs> Fire Festival to ask for political asylum has changed his mind. <laughs>